Oh hi there, are you planning your summer trip? Then probably you would like to check Tunisia. In today's video we are going to talk about the top things to do if you decided to come to Tunisia. My name is Shams, you are watching Best Rules, let's go direct into the video. But before that, if you are subscribed to the channel, thank you very much. But if you haven't done yet, kindly consider subscribing. Few things to get out of the way as always. In today's video, we are not going to cover the obvious and the standard things. Kind of uh, going to the beach, going to the souk, going to your uh, boyfriend or girlfriend house or probably maybe the historical monument. No, we are not down that level in this channel. The second disclaimer, there won't be a particular order. However, this time I kept the most exciting one in the end of the video. So without further talk, let's jump directly into the video. The first thing that I advise you to do when you come to Tunisia is to visit the monument of the northernmost point in Africa and Tunisia, Cap. Angela and because it is the summer season so I advise you to refresh yourself in the beautiful water the beautiful crystal water of Cap Angela. I consider it a very unique and special experience although getting there won't be that simple so you need probably your own car or uh, uh, or to get someone in touch to bring you there so it won't be that simple however it's totally worth it and uh, I, in my opinion I consider it very, something unique to see and to visit. The second thing I advise you also to do if you decided to come to Tunisia is to do mountain hiking or beach hiking in Al Hawariya or Bizert or Tabarqa or even Qlibia. I trust in the, that coast of Al Hawariya or Bizert. It's really, really, really amazing. And uh, you won't regret it at all. I know a lot of a group of hikers go there and uh, sleep in the woods there or nearby the sea and uh, they bring their stuff and uh, they really really enjoy it it's a unique experience however as i mentioned you should go in the group there are a lot of group of hiking uh, in facebook you can check them out i don't have any recommendation for that at this moment however it's uh, trust me this is very unique experience far from the crowded hotels and the standard beaches in al hamamet or uh, sous or uh, al monastir Definitely you will be rewarded with the most beautiful landscapes and uh, if you are a fan of photography you will definitely enjoy it. From Cap Hmam to Cap Negro to Cap Angela to Cap Serat to Sidi El Bashir to uh, also the other side of Bizert uh, from, uh, from Matlin to, uh, to Rafraf to Ghar Al Malh. Obviously really 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 beautiful views where you see the beautiful mountains and uh, the green of the forest blends with uh, with that beautiful turquoise uh, uh, Mediterranean water and some sandy beach. Really, really, you won't uh, regret it. As I mentioned, you won't have the comfort of sitting in a hotel or something like that. But however, if you are a fan of hiking and of discovering new things, this is a very unique experience to do in Tunisia. I decided to come in Tunisia during the summer is to do water sports. You can rent a jet ski, you can rent kayak, you can rent pedalo, this is the you can uh, do parasailing, which is very unique experience. Uh, with the boat will take your parachute and go up in the sky. You can watch like uh, in the small aircrafts. You enjoy the bird eye view of the cities. You can do that uh, obviously in Hamamet or Sous, where uh, nearby the hotels in Hamamet, Sous, I believe also Mehdiya. Uh, it's a very, very unique experience. And uh, in my opinion, uh, it is more exciting to do these things than just sitting and chilling under the sun. Obviously, finally, it's your call. However, in my opinion, uh, it's worth at least one time in life trying and doing this type of sports. Uh, being said as well, uh, you can do uh, sailing. Uh, there, are, there are some uh, few companies there that will rent you uh, a sailboat. So you can enjoy the Mediterranean, probably go for fishing. And maybe if you go in Tabarqa, you can go in some scuba diving. It's really, really beautiful uh, and uh, enjoyable experience, far from just uh, going in a swimming. The fourth thing that I advise you to do if you decided to come in Tunisia is to go out from the hotel a little bit and to try the Tunisian dishes. In my opinion and uh, as proven by my Bosnian wife and by a lot of people, uh, whoever tried the Tunisian dishes will really, really, really love it. Uh, it's a bit spicy though, 
It's a bit spicy though for the normal, for the European type. However, I think the Tunisian cuisine is really, really uh, one of, is among the best cuisines of the world, even though not so famous. Uh, you can try obviously the Tunisian couscous. You can try uh, the brick as a snack, this Tunisian brick. You can try eating bambaloni in Sidi Bou Said if you want there. Uh, you can eat kaskrut, the sandwich of uh, la blebi if you want in Bizert. You can try the milfeuille of Bizert, chapati, mlewi sandwich. There will be lot, lot, lot of beautiful and uh, special Tunisian dishes that totally, totally, in my opinion, worth trying. Far from the standard hotel food that uh, every person can eat and every person can try. Another thing that you can do in Tunisia during the summer is uh, to go to summer festival. There will be summer festival in each region. If you go in Tunis, you, there will be the International Festival of Carthage. I think it's the biggest. There will be festival in Sousse. There will be festival in Al Hamamad. There will be big festival in Bizert. It's uh, like 11,000 person. There will be also a jazz festival in Tabarqa. Uh, so plenty of things to do there. Another festival in Jerba, I believe. I'm not so sure though. This, uh, I think it's, uh, it's a really unique experience to go and dance and enjoy uh, the Tunisian culture and dance with the locals and uh, to enjoy some different type of uh, music. You can check the programs of this uh, festival online. Definitely they have some Facebook pages or Instagram or something like that. Definitely, uh, I believe if you come to Tunisia, why not uh, give it a try? Generally, the summer festival will start between mid-July mid to, uh, to end of August. You can check it online, I'm not sure the, about the exact dates. You can have a look at the program and select uh, which artists uh, may interest you. Uh, in my opinion, it's a beautiful and unique experience if you ever decided to come to Tunisia during the summer. And the last thing, the last thing that I kept to the end, which is the most exciting in my opinion, however, uh, it won't be that easy and that simple to get it, is to explore the, the hidden gems of Tunisia, is to explore the islands of Tunisia. We have a very unique and very, really, my heart will hurt me when I talk about it. It's the island of uh, La Galit Island. It's a beautiful island. It's very, very beautiful. Practically, it is the most northern point of all the Africa because it's the closest one to Europe. Of course, there is nothing there. There, there is no houses, nothing. Uh, it won't be easy and it is difficult to get there. So uh, just to alarm you, there will be no internet there, no internet connection, no electricity, nothing. You have to bring everything from uh, by your own. But I will throw some videos here in the screen and so you can see and you can uh, really, really, it's something, uh, what I can say, it's very, very, it's the most, it's the nicest place of all Tunisia. Not only Il Galit, by the way, there is also the beautiful islands of uh, Zimbra and Zimbretta nearby Al Hawariya, uh, equally beautiful, very, like they are now uh, reserved, like uh, I think uh, they are natural reserves, but you still can go there for hiking. There is, I think, a small island, less, a little bit less impressive than uh, the last two ones in Al Monastir. I think uh, I really forget the name. If you are lucky and get the chance to go to one of these islands, you really won't regret it. Uh, it's a unique experience. Personally, I never went there. I tried so many times, however, I didn't get the opportunity since you need some permit or something like that. Or maybe you go to some particular agency that provides this, uh, this experience. It is really unique. And uh, what I can say, you, the picture will speak alone, honestly. Uh, and uh, that's very, I, that's on my top wish list if I go to Tunisia this summer. So I hopefully you enjoy today's video, what you are doing. You, are you, you already subscribed? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, I hopefully you enjoy it and uh, I hope to catch you in the next one. Goodbye.